Welcome everyone to the Gilman campus. Thanks, Max, and on our center today. Welcome everyone to the Gilman campus and thank you for tuning in to Greyhound TV. I'm Max Ballone alongside Justin Betts. And Justin, we're in store for a matchup between two young teams in the Concordia Prep Saints and the Gilman Greyhounds. What can we expect today in this matchup? Thanks, Max. And under center today for the Hounds will be junior running back slash long snapper Chase Brody, who is taking on the quarterback role for the Hounds following an injury to starter Rory Calhoun. So we can expect a lot of reps for the Gilman running backs today. And on the other side for the Saints, we can expect the same, a heavy dose of rushing from their five running backs. Definitely going to be a hard fought matchup today between these two. The sun is out and the weather is warm as we will get set in just a moment here as the refs are huddled at the center field. take the field looks as if the Concordia Prep Saints will be starting this half with the ball Gilman will be kicking off from their own 40 yard line Here comes Juno Yoon on the kick. And we are underway here at Brown Field. As the kickoff sails just right out of bounds. And that will be a flag on the first play of the game after an illegal kick by Juno, out of bounds. Saints line up this first play, four, four wide. Quarterback Bryce Kuntz under center. Hand off to Julius Cornish who breaks free. Right side and Marcus Walker able to stop him just short for three yards. This will leave the Saints with a second and seven here. Once again, the Saints starting four wide here.
flag thrown. Looks as if it's going to be a false start here on the Saints. This will back them up five yards. Replay second down. Second and 12 now for the Saints. Coons in the shotgun. Pressure on Gilman. Are able to wrap him up in the backfield. I believe that was Ben Winefield there on the sack. Great pressure there for, um, from the Greyhounds early on, Justin. Yeah, and that's what they'll be looking to do, bring down a uh, pretty tall quarterback in Concordia Preps, Bryce Coons, and uh, bringing him down will definitely be a key thing for the Greyhounds to succeed in today. Brings up a third and about 20 to go here for the Saints. Coon steps up in the shotgun. Throwing left. Dropped by Irvin Jones the third. And Gilman will force a three and out. Great defense there from Gilman early on, John or Justin. Yeah, the pressure was there the la on the last two plays, and that's what you want to see as a as Gilman's defensive coordinator. Again to the quarterback, making him throw the ball away. Dejon Lane back for the for the Hounds on this return. Let's see if he can uh, flag thrown. Looks like we got too many men on the field for the Saints. But as I was saying, let's let's see if uh, Dejon Lane can wile up a little uh, magic, just like his brother Rayon last weekend. Bobbles the snap, just gets it off. Gilman will let this roll all the way back to their 23-yard line. Great punt there for the Saints. Almost got blocked, but they were able to manage to get it all the way back to the Gilman's 23-yard line as junior quarterback Chase Brody will take the field for the first time here for the Hounds. Yeah, just a great punt from kicker and punter Casey Swaglin. I mean, that didn't even look like it was going to get off necessarily. And he puts that right behind uh, the returner's head for the Hounds. Hounds take the field here for a first and 10. Ian Evans in the back backfield here for the Hounds. Jaden Bartsdale in motion. Handoff to Ian Evans. Tough run for about 11 yards. First down, Greyhounds on the first play of the game. Hounds going no huddle here. Brody in the shotgun. Three wide. Bartsdale in motion again. Fake to Evans. Brody takes it for about four yards. And as I was saying before, Chase Brody, former running back for the Hounds, we we can expect to see a few read options like we just saw there from him and his running backs for the Hounds today. Brody in the shotgun, throwing deep. Unable to find Gushu there. 
This will bring up a third and seven here for the Hounds. Gilman going quickly here. Hayden Carpenter and Alan Gushu wide left. Barksdale in motion. Brody takes it, hands off to Ian Evans, up the gut. Rumbling and stumbling to the 50 yard line. That'll be a first down. Gain of about 13 yards there for the Hounds. Gilman continuing the fast pace here. Brody in the shotgun. Brody gets hit while throw while he throws. Falls incomplete. Great pressure there put on by uh, the Saints and. Um, yeah, and Gilman S will definitely need to protect that blind side for Chase Brody. Not too many quarterbacks can escape that kind of hit. Freshman Sidney Stort there on putting the pressure on Brody. Hounds line up for a second and ten. High snap. Brody gets it off to Ian Evans. Running left side. Able to shake off a few tackles and get down to about the 46-yard line. And a scuffle after Ev Ian was on the ground. Looks like the ball may have come out, but it looks like it still will stay with the Hounds. This will bring up a third and six here for the Greyhounds. Saints showing blitz here. Mark's down motion. Hand off to Marcus Walker. He gets tackled for a loss of one. This will bring up a fourth and seven for the Greyhounds. As there's an injury on the field, this looks like Wyatt Winstead, the freshman, is down, holding his right knee. As the trainers assist him, we will take a quick break here on Brownfield.
welcome back to Brown Field here as number 74, Wyatt Winstead, is able to get up and walk off the field, limping a little bit on that left knee, but prayers go to him. As Gilman lines up for a punt here on fourth and seven, Chase Brody will be punting to Keyshawn Mister. Brody punts it high to about the 35 yard line. Miles Nolan picked it up, ran it for about one yard. This will be Saints ball, first and 10 from their own 35 yard line. And with Chase Brody delivering that punt right there, that adds a bit of options for the Hounds going forward. Maybe to try a trick play on a fourth down in the future. Yeah, definitely a dual threat there for Gilman. As the Saints take the field here. Bryce Koontz in the shotgun, four wide, two right, two left. Lamar Heath takes the ball up the gut for about eight yards. Heavy running there for Lamar Heath, Justin. Yeah, solid pickup for Concordia Prep there. Uh, they'll look to continue those five or more yard gains. Those are really key to finding success in, in offense. Second and two here for the Saints. See if they can get another chunk, chunk play here. Bobbled snap. Lamar Heath picks it up. Able to get to about the 50 yard line. This will be Concordia Prep's first for first down of the day. As they'll move to the 50 yard line, first and 10. Yeah, great job there by Lamar Heath. Uh, staying active and attentive, picking up the ball and getting a good gain out of it for a first down. Just under four minutes here in the first quarter. Let's see if the Saints can get some points on the board as they approach Gilman's side of the field. Koontz in the shotgun. Hands off to Lamar Heath. And he is bottled up behind the line of scrimmage by number 64, Benjamin Winefield there. Loss of two. This will bring up a second and 12 there. Gilman once again bringing the pressure. Yeah, great job there by defensive lineman Ben Weinfield to stop the play and uh, it's a second down and 10. Excuse me, that was Ben Weinfeld there on the tackle. Koontz takes the snap, hands off to Julius Cornish, takes it left for about five yards. Weinfield applying, plier, uh, applying pressure again on that play. Once again, a nice a little chunk play there for the Saints as they are able to turn that second and 12 into a about a third and seven here. Koontz here on the third and seven. The shotgun flag thrown. Looks like it may have been a false start there on uh, the Saints wide receiver Irvin Jones the third. And Concordia Prep with another penalty there. That's their second false start. So they'll look to clean that up going forward. Tough flag there for them as this will back them up. Five yards for another third and 12 here. Let's see what draw up here. Koontz has four wide here. 
and when bringing the pressure, Koontz just throws it away to the right. Great job by the Hounds defense there. They, were, they had three people attacking Koontz. Just under two minutes here in the first first quarter, excuse me. This will be a fourth and 12 for the Saints. As they line up to punt the ball. Dejan Lane looks to return it. See if he can uh, bring a little spark to Thielman's bench here. Koontz takes it. Big punt there. Dejan Lane fields it at about his own 15, running right, breaks a tackle, gets down to about the 25 yard line. Another great punt from Concordia Preps' Casey Swaglin there. Punting uh, an underrated but much appreciated part of football, finding a good punter be very crucial for teams. Gilman's offense huddled on the sideline here. They now take the field for first and ten. Just under two minutes here. Brody in the shotgun. Marcus Walker takes the snap, running left, breaks a tackle. Able to shed one tackle there, but still lost a two there for the Hounds. Gilman going quickly here as the clock approaches a minute and 20 seconds left. Barksdale in motion. Brody takes the snap. Back to Marcus Walker, up the gut. Finds a hole as he's wrapped up. Able to pick up about two yards back to the line of scrimmage. And this will bring up a third and about 10 yards to go. It'll be interesting to see here whether the, the Hounds decide to run the ball or put faith in quarterback Chase Brody find one of his wide receivers. Clock is ticking here. Approaching 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Brody takes the snap. Drops back. Rolls right. Can't find anyone. Breaks a tackle. Throws across the field to number 21, Jaden Barksdale. Able to pick up about six yards. This will bring up about fourth and four for the Hounds. As it looks like the clock is going to run out here in the first quarter for the Greyhounds. And that'll be all from the for the first quarter here on Brownfield. Greyhounds zero, Saints zero. We'll be back in just a moment.
Welcome back to Greyhound TV here for the start of the second quarter on Brownfield. Hounds take the field here for a short fourth and one. Let's see what they will draw up here. Looks as if they're going to go for it. Brody will line up in the shotgun. He did the hard count and he got him. Saints offside. Wow, great job there by Gilman's offense. Working the hard count, able to get the five yards for the first down, I believe. First and ten here for the Hounds. Brody in the shotgun, Barksdale to his right. Fumbled. Looks like the Saints have picked it up there. Barksdale got hit hard by the Saints defenseman. Huge. Number 20 credited the fumble on that one. Lamar Heath, the running back slash linebacker for the Saints. That is a huge momentum swing there for the Saints as previous play, they caught him off sides on fourth down and now able to force a turnover in Greyhound territory as they will set up shop at the 41 yard line first and 10 Koontz lines up in the shotgun four wide Lamar Heath to his left brings Darian Hill in motion hand off to Koontz he takes it up the gut Power run to the left for about three yards. It will give him four yards there. This will bring up a second and six here for the Saints. As they huddle up. Koontz once again in the shotgun. Three wide right, one wide left. Lamar Heath to his left. Takes the snap. Hands off to Julius Cornish. He gets wrapped up by Ben Weinfeld there. Great job by Gilman's interior line once again. Getting to the ball, making a solid tackle, bringing him down for a minimal gain. will bring up a third and five for the Saints. And so far, two different stories with tempo here. The Concordia prep Saints taking a slower pace than the Hounds, who are working at a fast tempo so far. Coons takes the snap, bobbles it a little bit, hands off to Lamar Heath. And once again, Gilman's D-line, led by Ben Wen Weinfeld, able to wrap him up for no gain. This will bring up a fourth and five at Gilman's 39-yard line. Excuse me, 36-yard line. It looks as if the Saints are going to keep their offense on the field here. Maybe trying to get a little momentum going here. Beginning of the second quarter. And it looks like number six, quarterback Bryce Kuntz, is out of play right now. Concordia Prep may be looking to run a wildcat formation. Keyshawn Mister takes the snap here as qu at quarterback. Brings Jalen Harkum in motion. Takes the snap to himself. Running right. Once again, great tackling there by Ian Evans on the Gilman defense. And it looks like a shoe came off there. Yeah, not sure if that altered um, the play there, but Gilman able to stop him. Great stand there as uh, Gilman will now take possession of the ball on their 37-yard line. As they are able
able to bring the offense back onto the field here. With just over seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Yeah, Gilman's defense making a big stand there. Uh, off, fresh off the turnover, holding Concordia Prep to four straight downs without a first down. And that's exactly what you want to see. Gilman's offense takes the field here. Barksdale on motion. Brody takes the snap. Hands off to Ian Evans going right. He's able to shed a few tackles. But he is swallowed up by Concordia Prep's defense there for a gain of one. Gilman's bench signaling to Brody here. As they go, no. As they snap it, Brody takes the snap. Hands off left to Ian Evans. Great tackling there from Nick Pimkey. And Gilman continuing the fast tempo offense. It looked like Concordia Prep was a bit confused, but nevertheless, they were able to stop the Hounds for a loss. This brings up a third and ten for the Hounds as the clock approaches six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Gilman lines up three, two wide left. Barksdale, wide right. Brody takes the snap in the shotgun, scrambling, running right. And he is able to shed two tackles Dips his shoulder into Concordia Prep's defense. Able to pick up about four yards there. Not enough for the first down as this will bring up a fourth and six to go. As Gilman shows punt. Great pressure there by Concordia Prep forcing Chase Brody to roll out. They've had pretty good pass rush on third down so far. Not the first rollout by Brody. Brody in the backfield here. Punt it as Keyshawn Mister looks to return it here for the Saints. Brody takes it. Big punt there. Let's see if. Dejon Lane can get it to settle at the one, as he does. Perfect punt there for the Hounds. They are, they are able to force the Saints to start possession there at the one yard line. Yeah, great job by Chase Brody. Coming back from a, a punt earlier in the game that didn't go so far. And that's exactly what you want from the punter slash quarterback today. Saints offense talking it over here on the sideline. And with the ball on the one, this drive, it will be interesting to see if they're able to hold Gilman's powerful defensive line which has been getting great pressure today to make a stand at the one yard line. Once again number 13 Keyshawn Mister in at quarterback. A little, a little confusion here on the line. Refs talking it over. go. Keyshawn Mister in the backfield here for the Saints. Takes the snap. Hands off left to him 
Lamar Heath and Gilman's defense once again able to wrap him up in the backfield this time for a safety as this will be the first points of the game here for the Hounds as they go up 2-0. Great job by the Hounds again getting to the ball getting past the offensive line of Concordia Prep and forcing a safety putting the first points on the board for either team. That was Nick Gladys and Ben Weinfeld on the tackle there, able to just rip through Concordia Prep's O-line and wrap Heath up in the backfield. So the Hounds go up 2-0 here, just under five minutes left to play in the second quarter. Saints will be punting to Gilman, but a little confusion here. Confusion here as teams line up on the wrong side of the field. And it looks like Concordia Prep will be punting from the 20 yard line, which will be a good starting spot for the Hounds. Casey Swaglin out here to kick it off. Dejon Lane and Clayton Badley in the backfield here for Gilman. She punts it short. Alan Gustu picks it up. Gets it to about the 50-yard line as Gilman will set up shop. Great field position, just under five minutes to go here. Let's see if they can put some more points on the board as momentum is still in their favor. And last drive, the Hounds unable to get anything going with their run game. Uh, they'll look to find success again with Ian Evans and Marcus Walker. will be the best starting field position the Hounds offense has gotten all day as they take the field here for a first and ten. Rody will line up in the shotgun. This time Nick Cruz to his left. Flag thrown. Refs talking it over here. Not sure what the call is just yet. Looks like it'll be a legal formation on the Hounds as they will back it up five yards to their 45-yard line. Three play first down. First and 15 here. Brody once again in the shotgun. Throwing left. Clayton Badley takes it. Oh, gets hit hard. Fumbles. And the Saints, once again, their defense forcing a fumble. Ref signal Saints ball as they will take the ball here on Gilman's 45 yard line. Once again, another momentum swing here for the Saints defense. Yeah, an unfortunate outcome for the Hounds yet again with a fumble on the screen pass. They'll look to uh, polish their offense with the next half. Hopefully limit turnovers. Saints quickly get to the line of scrimmage here. Gilman walking up to the line of scrimmage. Koontz back in quarterback, back at quarterback for the Saints. Takes the snap, hands off. Running right, breaks a few tackles. Huge gain there for the Saints. That is number 22, Cameron, 22, Julius Cornish there. 
for the Saints. 12 yards first down there. Great run up the middle by Cornish. Or Cornish, right, finding the hole, uh, getting through Gilman's interior line, breaking away for the first down. First and ten here for the Saints. Coons in the shotgun. Big snap, hands off back to Cornish. Running right. Able to find a nice hole there. As he gets to about the 25-yard 25, 25 line as the refs will signal second down. About a yard to go here. Yeah, another great run by Cornish. He uh, took a great route. Great vision there. Found an open hole on the right. Saints hurry to the line here. Two wide left, two wide right. Coons in the shotgun. Takes the snap, hands off. This time to Lamar Heath, running left. Sheds a tackle. And he's going to be wrapped up at the 21 yard line by Alan Gush Gushu. Concordia finds some signs of life in their offense here on this drive. As their second first down of this drive. This will set up a first and 10 at the 20 yard line. Concordia Prep's first red zone trip here today. Let's see if they can capitalize. Koontz lines up in the shotgun. Two wide right, two wide left. Takes the snap. Hands off to Lamar Heath, running up the gut. Breaks a tackle and gets to Gilman's 10 yard line. Ref will signal first down there as that is a 10 yard pickup for Lamar Heath as this run game for the Saints has just been destroying Gilman's defense this drive. Two and a half minutes left here in the first half. Saints taking their time here on offense. Koontz lines up in shotgun. This time he's got three wide right, one wide left. Takes a snap. Screen pass, wide right. And that is a touchdown for Jalen Harkum as Koontz throws the screen pass to him on the right side and he's able to switch fields back into the center and get into the end zone for the Saints as they pick up their first points of the game as they now take the lead, six to two. A great call there by Concordia Prep. Uh, with power running the entire drive, they decide to switch it up there for the screen pass. And... Uh, just a great call there. Yeah, it looks like they caught Gilman off guard there for a moment, able to capitalize and get six. As the Saints will take the field, it looks like they will be going for two points here to make this a six-point ball game. Two yards to go here for the two-point conversion. Koontz will line up under shotgun. Heath to his left. The Saints will take a timeout here as we will be right back here on Brown Field in just a moment. to Greyhound TV. Just under two minutes left here in the first half as the Saints take the field looking to go for two after their touchdown. Saints up six to two. This could make it a six point ball game. Koontz in the shotgun. Heath to his left. Throws 
was Marquise Edmond in motion. Quick pass there to Darian Hill, incomplete. Sort of a uh, unusual play there from the Saints. I haven't seen that all game, Justin. Yeah, that was a an odd formation. We haven't seen that. Like you said, they had uh, two stacked wide receivers on the left, two stacked on the right until they sent um, Hill in motion. Saints look to kick it off here. Just under two minutes to go here. Gilman will get the ball. Let's see if they can uh, capitalize, maybe get a few points here go leading into the second half. As Gushu and Lane look to receive this kickoff. Casey Swaglin on the kickoff here. Lane takes it left side, running right. Cuts field. And he's able to take it to the, about the 37 yard line as Gillen will set up shop. One minute and 49 seconds here. And it will be interesting to see what the Hounds go with here. Um, obviously, using the run game for the majority of this game. Um, Not sure if they want to stick to the run game here. Is that will uh, run the clock down as they have limited time at just about a minute 49 seconds here. Brody will take the snap, flag down. Excuse me, timeout. Saints will take their second timeout of the first half. Talk things over here. A little confusion on the uh, defensive side there for the Saints. Gilman yeah. hoping to catch them off guard. Yeah, it looked like at least one wide receiver on the right for Gilman was unaccounted for, and that forced Concordia Prep to call the timeout and figure things out. Hounds and the Saints take the field once again. Hounds quickly to the line here. Brody will line up in the shotgun. This time he has Nick Cruz to his right. Three wide left, one wide right. Hands it off to Nick Cruz. Running up the gut. Power run there for about five yards. As Gilman has to go quickly as the clock approaches a minute 30 here. with the mill huddle offense here. Flag thrown. Looks like we're going to get a false start on the offense there as wide receiver Hayden Carpenter may have moved just a bit too soon. Despite the flag, this will stop the clock at a minute 24 here. Backs him up another five yards. And the Hounds with three timeouts left. Second and ten here. Hounds bench yelling to snap it. Brody takes it in the shotgun. Looking deep. Throws. And that will be picked off by the Saints. That is number 13. Keyshawn Mister there. Bit of a forced ball there from uh, Brody. Not able to find his man downfield. Yeah, he had great protection, but looked like coverage was pretty solid on that and Brody made an overthrow. Gilman looks to get a huge stand here as the Saints, after their great drive on the last possession, 
set up shop at about the minute eight to go here. One timeout. Let's see what they can dial up here. As Keyshawn Mister will take the snap here. Julius Cornish to his left. Keyshawn running right. Gets to the sideline. Gets a corner. Able to get out of bounds and stop the clock for about a gain of six there. Great run there by Keyshawn Mister. Um, not the first time Concordia Preps used him for that type of play. QB draw rolling out to the right. And they've found some success here behind him at quarterback. Concordia Prep once again lines up two wide left, one wide right, hands off. Cornish takes the snap. He can't find anywhere to go. Running left, and he's going to get bobbled up by the Gilman defense for a loss of about 10 yards there as, excuse me, 15 yards there as that is a huge play for Gilman's defense as that will run the clock down to about 40 seconds as Gilman will take a timeout to stop the clock here at 39 seconds as Concordia Prep will face a third and long to go here. Assuming here that Concordia Prep looks to run the clock out, um, that will probably end up leaving Gilman with zero timeouts remaining if they're if the ball is punted to them. Let's see what the Saints coaching staff can draw up here out of their huddle. Keyshawn Mister. Still at quarterback for the Saints. He will have three wide right, one right wide left. Lamar Heath to his left. Takes the snap, drops back, looking right, scrambling, up the gut, takes the corner, and he will get wrapped up for about a gain of five yards there as Gillen defense will stop them. Gilman will call their second timeout of the half. Stopping the clock at about 24 seconds left. Saints will be punting here. With just about 20 seconds left here on the clock, Justin. Not much Gilman offense has been doing this game, but let's see if they can uh, maybe get a little electrifying play here, get some points on the board offensively for them. And Gilman does have a timeout remaining, so they will be able to get the ball back with the timeout. Saints will be punting from their own 34, 35 yard line. Kuntz will line up to punt this. Dejon Lane to return this. Kuntz takes the snap. Punts it deep, flag thrown. Rayon Lane, or Dejan Lane takes it. Running right, he's got the edge. But the he will walk into the end zone. Confusion on the field here as the players stopped playing. It looked like the flag was thrown right as the ball was snapped. So it will be interesting to see what the officials decide to call here. Not sure if the flag was thrown before the play or after the snap. Looks like it will bring this back as it was thrown before the snap. Not quite sure what the call is here yet. It looked like Coach Bach 
On the Gilman Hound sideline was yelling five men at the line. So we can assume, and there it is, it was a illegal formation there as Saints will line up to punt it again here. Refs trying to thick the clock here as 24 seconds will be put back onto the scoreboard. Pretty unfortunate there for the Hounds. I don't even, even if that wasn't a flag and the play was stopped, I don't think anyone was going to touch Lane. Yeah, it looked as if Dejon Lane had broad daylight ahead of him down the right sideline. Could have been an easy six there for the Hounds, but unfortunately, flag was thrown. All right, refs have the clock settled out. Saints will be punting here. Koontz takes the snap. Almost blocked there, may have been tipped. Lands at about the 40 yard line and ro rolls out of bounds at the Saints 47 yard line as Gillen will get the ball at the Saints 47 yard line, 16 seconds remaining, one timeout. Best field position they've had all day. All it takes is one play. And we have a real test ahead of us to see if Chase Brody can get the ball downfield. They have one timeout left, the Hounds. See if Gillen will draw up maybe a bubble screen here. Got to see our Supreme on the field here. Maybe get it to him. Run out of bounds quickly. Brody takes a snap. Rolls right. Finds a gap. Still can't find a hole. Throws it out of bounds. Great pressure there from the Saints D-line. Split Gilman's O-line in half. Able to cut right through and get to Brody. Forcing the pass out of bounds. That will put 6.3 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and with six seconds, there isn't too much you can do here. Maybe a quick run up the middle to gain a few yards and call a timeout quickly. But there aren't too many high school players who can kick it from beyond 30, 40 yards. So the Hounds will be looking for a touchdown. Gilman will line up here for the looks, what looks to be the last play of the first half. Brody takes the shotgun pass, running right, able to complete the pass to Barksdale for about seven yards. And that will send us to the second half here as the Saints lead six to two. I'm Max Ballone alongside Justin Betts and we will be right back on Greyhound TV.
Welcome back to Greyhound TV. I'm Max Bowen alongside Justin Betts back here for the second half of the Saints Hounds JV football matchup. Now Justin, looking back at the first half, what was the storyline? Well, for the Greyhounds, the story has been turnovers. Uh, two fumbles and an interception is really not what they're looking for. They got to work on ball security coming out of the half. As for Concordia Prep, their offense was pretty limited until that their second to last drive, which ended in a touchdown, running the ball right up Gilman, Gilman's defensive line, and then finishing it off with a screen pass for the touchdown. So they'll look to find more success with that style of play. Yeah, at the uh, beginning of the second quarter there, Gilman was able to get a safety. They had all the momentum rolling for him, and then Concordia Prep's defense stepped up, forced a turnover, put their offense in great field position, and they were able to capitalize for six there as the Saints will be kicking off to Gilman to start the second half. will be starting this second half up 6-2 to two here as Casey Swaglin looks to kick it off from his own 40. And Gilman may be looking for some signs of life starting with this kickoff return. If you remember in the first half, Rayon Lane had a punt returned which would have likely been returned for a touchdown. That ended up being called off due to an illegal formation. Dejan Lane takes the kick off, running right. Ball pops out here at the 39. It looks as if Gilman will recovered it. A little scary moment there for Gilman, but the offense will take the field starting at their own 39 yard line here. And Justin, it just seems like Gilman needs a spark here offensively. They've got nothing going in the first half, and this is where they need to score here. They were able to find some life in running back Ian Evans. Um, he found success early on in the game, rushing for a few big gains. He is Gilman's current leading rusher at about 28 yards here as Brody lines up in the shotgun. Evans to his left. Two wide right. Oh, puts Dejan in motion. Dejan drops it. Concordia preps D lineman unable to fall on it. Dejan picks it back up. And right off the bat, two straight fumbles by Gilman. And that's, again, exactly what they can't do if they want to win this game. This will bring up a second and 12 here. So the previous play will result in a loss of two yards. Brody again in the shotgun with Evans to his right this time. It's Barksdale in motion, hands off to Evans, running left. He is swallowed up by the Saints D-line. This time for a loss of one. This will bring up a critical third and 13 for the Hounds offense. Gilman's been signaling to Brody here. Gilman quickly to the line here. This time has Cruz to his left. Excuse me, to his right now. Brody snaps it. Saints bring the blitz off the fingertips of Gushu. The Saints bringing the pressure on that play, and Brody was able to find an open wide receiver on the slant route, but unfortunately threw it a bit far to the right and was unable to connect. This will bring up fourth down for the Hounds as they show punt here. Brody, see if he can get another great punt here for the Hounds as number 13, Keyshawn Mister, looks to return it for the Saints here. A 
booming kick for the Hounds. Lands at about the 32 yard line as Gilman falls onto it. Saints offense huddling up real quick on their sideline, talking to their coaches. See if their offense can start this second half strong. And it will be interesting to see here whether the Saints decide to go with quarterback Bryce Coons or Keyshawn Mister. They went with a combination of both of them throughout the first half and found success in each of them at times. So it looks as if they will start this second half with number 13 Keyshawn Mister at quarterback. He stands in the shotgun, hands off the Cornish, running left, juking, gets to the outside, running down the left sideline, breaks free, still running, Gets down to about the 35-yard line of Gilman's. Huge gain there for the uh, for the Saints of about 34 yards. Yeah, great cut there. Trying to find a hole up the middle and taking a route outside. Just a great read there by Julius Cornish. Able to find a hole, keep the play alive, and then broke free down the left sideline. Saints hurry to the line here. Mister takes the snap, fakes it to Lamar Heath, running right. Able to gain about three yards there, tackled by Ben Weinfeld. Second and about six to go here for the Saints offense. Keyshawn Mister still in the field as quarterback. And as we saw in that last play, the Saints like to run with Mister. He's a mobile quarterback. He's got some speed. Definitely posing a tough task here for the defense. Skillman brings the blitz, and they are able to wrap up Heath in the backfield, or are they? Heath breaks loose, able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Almost a huge loss there for the Hounds, or for the Saints, excuse me. It looks like Heath is injured, and we also have a flag down. This will be an injury timeout here for the Saints as we will take a quick break here on Greyhound TV, and we'll be back in a moment.
Welcome back to Greyhound TV here. Thankfully, Lamar Heath was able to limp off the field at his own will. Hopefully, he will be okay and able to return back to this game as there was a flag on the previous play. I'm not quite sure the call, but this will back the Saints up to their to the Gilman's 46-yard line here. As they will face a second and long to go, about 20 yards here. Keyshawn Mister at quarterback still. Lines up in the shotgun, three wide right, one wide left. Takes the snap. Screen pass to the left. Breaks loose. Great tackle there by number 18, Ian Evans, forcing a stop behind the line. That could have been bad. Gilman showing a bit trouble. They're seeming to have a bit trouble here with wrapping up the tackler, and they'll look to solidify that aspect of their game. Yeah, the Saints wide receiver was able to break loose, but he was still wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage as Gilman will now face a, or the Saints will now face a third and 24 to go here. Mister lines up in the shotgun. The flag is thrown here. It looks like it'll be a false start on the Saints wide receiver, number 21 there. This will back the Saints offense all the way back to their own 45-yard line. Making this a third and 29. Great job by Gilman's defense after allowing a big run coming back here and Putting Concordia in a tough situation. Mister takes it in the shotgun, throws deep to his wide receiver, and that almost got caught or intercepted by Gilman's defense as that falls to the ground, incomplete. And on that previous play, that is Saints' fourth offensive penalty for a lot. That'll be 30 yards they've lost on penalties offensively. That's been huge. Yeah, so definitely. They need to, they'll need to fix the false starts going forward. Saints will punt here. Bryce Koontz on his own 45 yard line. Dejan Lane back to return it. And Further another down. penalty here. Once again. Once again, the Saints flagged here. This will back them up another five yards back to their 40 yard line. Seems as if like five plays ago, before the injury, they were marching into Gilman territory. Now they're on their own 40 yard line, Justin. Yeah, again, a great job by Gilman's defense mixed with a few bad penalties on Concordia's side. Koontz takes the snap, punts it high, a little short. Dejan drops the punt, able to pick it up, fumbles it, falls on it just at the 19, 18 yard line here. And it looked like Lane wasn't sure how close the defender was behind him. I think he had plans of running that back pretty far. Scary moment there for uh, the Hounds. But their offense will take the field here at about the 20 yard line. With about five minutes and 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. Gilman's offense needs to get something going here. As they trail six to two. Brody will take it in the shotgun. Three wide right. Sends Barksdale in motion. Hands off to Marcus Walker up the gut for about a yard. Clock will tick to about five minutes to go here. Gilman quick to the line. Brody throws left on the screen to Gushu. 
he gets wrapped up by Concordia's defense. A loss of two here. As Gilman will be faced with a third and ten. Another critical third down here for Gilman's offense. Brody in the shotgun. Marcus Walker to his right. Takes the snap. Saints bring blitz. Brody scrambles to his right. Gets dragged down. Able to find Gushu on the sideline who tiptoes in. Brody with another scrambling play. He's shown off his legs today. The uh, Army men's lacrosse commit who again was switched from running back and line snap and long snapper, excuse me, to quarterback for today's game. Gilman will be faced with a fourth and five to go here. As they will bring on the punt team. Keyshawn Mister to return this punt. Brody takes the punt. Punts it high and left. This will fall out of bounds at about the 41, excuse me, the 46 yard line of Gilman. As Concordia will start this drive with great field position. They had a little something going on their last possession. Penalties killed them, but um, let's see if they can continue that momentum they had early on. Gilman once again relying on their defense here to hold them. They've done a great job so far today. Let's see if they can do it again. Concordia sticking to number 13, Keyshawn Mister at quarterback. Julius Cornish to his right. There's Justin Harvey in motion. Cornish takes a direct snap. Excuse me, that is Mister takes the direct snap down the right sideline. Able to pick up about 25 yards there on the carry. Key tackle there by Cameron Curtis. Um, making a very crucial tackle there. Keyshawn Mister had no one else in his way. And again, Concordia Prep using their quarterback, Mister for the direct snap run play. That's not the first time we've seen that. Concordia hurrying to the line here. Mister in the shotgun. Takes the direct snap once again. Running left. He will get the corner, but Dejon Lane, a great tackle out of nowhere. Stops him about a sh yard short of the line of scrimmage. That'll be f bring up a second and 11 here. Great pursuit on that play by Lane. Although it looks like a penalty flag was thrown. Looks as if, as if this may be a horse collar tackle on Dejon Lane. is actually on Concordia holding on the offense this will bring them back five yards Gilman elects to decline penalty And as Gilman does elect to accept the penalty, um, something to keep in mind here, number 64 for the Hounds, Ben Weinfield on the sideline for 
the entirety of this drive so far by Concordia's offense. Lineman with five tackles and a safety, a pivotal part of Gilman's defense. Mister takes the snap in the shotgun, throwing left, just high of his target downfield. That is number 10, Marquise Edmond II. Had him open, just threw it a little too high off his fingertips. But looking back on the previous play, that is Concordia Prep's six offensive penalty, costing them 45 yards. That's just been huge today in this game. Yeah, discipline. Even NFL teams struggle with that. It's something that can really change momentum and be a key part of teams winning and teams losing. Let's bring up a second and 21 here. Excuse me, a second and 20. Mister at shotgun takes the snap, hands off to Cornish who broke a tackle but just gets rocked by Gilman's number 22, Cameron Custis. And it looks like the ball came out on that play, but Concordia Prep is able to recover it. Just a monstrous hit there from Gilman's defense out of nowhere. Looks as, almost looked as if Cornish had the hole. He was going to break free, but then... Gilman came out of nowhere as this will bring up a third and 20 for the Saints at Gilman's 35 yard line. Mister sets up three wide right, one wide left. Takes the snap. Custis bringing the blitz, and that is picked off. That is Nick Gladys running down the sideline. This will be a pick six for Gilman. Oh, excuse me, that is Ian Evans with the pick six. Great read by Evans. Keyshawn Mister forced to give it up, throw, throwing it away due to the great pressure by Gilman. That was Cameron. Off the edge. That was Cameron Custis off the edge, bringing the pressure to Mister. Threw it to his right. Thought he had a wide receiver open, but Ian Evans came out of nowhere and booked it for the end zone. This will put Gilman back in the lead at 8-6 to six here. Huge momentum swing. And Gilman's defense today, the scoring factor, scoring all eight of their points so far. Gilman will line up for an extra point here. This will be Juno Yoon. Number 31 for the extra point. Brody with the hold. Takes the snap. Juno puts it right through the uprights. That is good as the Hounds will take the lead 9-6 to six here with a minute and 39 remaining in the third quarter. That was a huge turnaround by the Hounds. A much needed score. And with a minute 39 left here in the third quarter, we will be right back here on Greyhound TV in just a moment. Welcome back here to Brown Field as Gilman looks to kick it off to the Saints with about a minute 39 left here in the third quarter. This will be Juno Yoon kicking off for the Hounds as Keyshawn Mister 
He's back to return this one for the Saints. Misters alongside Darian Hill as the return men for the Saints. Yoon takes the kick down to the 20, bobbled by Darian Hill, who he's able to pick it up, scrambles, breaks free, down the left sideline to the 40, to the 50, and he's pushed out of bounds by Ian Evans at about the 50 yard line. Scary moment there for the Hounds. Darian Hill is shaking up there on the sideline. Hopefully he will be okay. But it looks as if the Saints offense will once again start with great field position at the Hounds 48 yard line. Saints sticking to Keyshawn Mister at quarterback. Freshman. Lamar Heath back in and healthy. He will be in the backfield to the right of Mr. Mr. takes the snap, hands off to Heath, runs up the gut. Is able to stumble to about the 40. 43 yard line so about a gain of 6 so we'll bring up a second and 4 that will now be 120 rushing yards for the Saints here Mister takes the pass hands off to Lamar Heath he was able to get about two yards there. It will bring up about a third and two to go for the Saints. Critical third down as the clock is ticking here in the third quarter. About 30 seconds remain. Concordia Prep looks to get one last playoff before the end of the third. Mister in the shotgun. Heath to his right. Mister takes it running right, trying to get the outside. Gets an edge and gets to about the 31 yard line. That will be enough for the first down as Concordia Prep will move the chains. He was able to get out of bounds and stop the clock with about eight seconds remaining. Saints get a new fresh set of downs. Mister in the shotgun sends his wide receiver in motion. Cornish gets the gets the handoff. He gets bobbled up by Gilman's D-line for a loss of one there. That was Ben Weinfeld on the tackle. And this will be the end of the third quarter here on GTV. Hi, Max Ballone, and we will be right back in a moment. Welcome back to Brownfield here on GTV. 
for the start of the fourth quarter between the Saints and the Hounds. Concordia Prep will start this quarter, the final quarter, with the ball, first and 10 at Gilman's 34 yard line, excuse me, 33 yard line. And number six, Bryce Koontz back in at quarterback. Concordia Prep able to find a few good runs with their other quarterback, Keyshawn Mister. Koontz takes the snap. Weinfeld bringing the blitz. Koontz scrambles. Able to, able to find his wide receiver, Jalen Harkum, for the catch. Being about a gain of five. This will bring up second and, excuse me, a gain of six. This will bring up a third and four to go. Prep to the line here. Kuntz in the shotgun. Julius Cornish, who's right, sends Andre Perkins Jr. in motion. And Kuntz takes the snap up the gut to about the 21 yard line. This will be a first down. Moving the chains here for the Saints. Saints sticking to the run game here in the second half. It's been pretty effective except for the one turnover. And Koontz on that last play displaying his running ability as well. Concordia Prep certainly with a lot of weapons on their offensive side who can run the ball. Saints set up with three wide left. Koontz takes a snap, hands off to Lamar Heath, who gets, gets rocked by the Gilman D-line behind the line of scrimmage. That will be a loss of just one, the refs say, able to get a little forward progress there. But once again, Gilman's D-line stepping up when they need it most, forcing the pressure on Concordia's run game. Yeah, not allowing Concordia prep to gain too much momentum here. And you have to think that Concordia Prep is going to keep running the ball for the majority of this game. That's where they've found the most success. Koontz still at quarterback for the Saints. First and 10 here. Excuse me, second and 11 here. Koontz takes the snap, looks right into the end zone. He has a man, but Marquise Edmond is not able to pull it down, but a flag thrown in the end zone. Dejan Lane on the coverage there. Pass interference, Dejan Lane has been called by the refs. That's very unfortunate for the Hounds defense. Concordia Prep not finding too much success in the passing game all day and unfortunately bailed out there with a passing interference call. Saints very fortunate there to get that call. As this will give them a new fresh set of downs this time in the red zone at the 11 yard line. Koontz stands in the shotgun. Lamar Heath to his left. Koontz takes the snap. Runs it up the gut. And is able to gain about five yards there. Four yards, excuse me. Let's bring up a second and six. And it seems Concordia Prep likes to use number six, Bryce Koontz, his, his size to 
uh, run the ball straight up the middle, whereas they have used Keyshawn Minster, Mister, their other quarterback, primarily for outside runs today. Saints will have Koontz in the shotgun. Lamar Heath to his right this time. Koontz takes the snap, goes straight up the gut, and he's wrapped up at about the four yard line for about a gain of three. And this brings an interesting third down. Concordia Prep using the screen pass to score the, their first touchdown earlier in the game. So it will be interesting to see what they decide to run right here. Touchdown will take the lead here. As Koontz lines up from the four yard line in the shotgun. Let's see if they run it again to Koontz. They hand it off to Lamar Heath running right side and he's able to get in for six. Right through, the Gilman's, right through Gilman's defense there. Looked too easy there. Justin, what'd you see? Yeah, he definitely found a hole a bit to the right, but nevertheless up the middle and certainly not what Gilman wanted to see. It looked as if Gilman was expecting the up the gut run there, but Saints, yeah. Saints offensive coordinator switching it up and sending Lamar Heath to the right. And again, the Saints have so many weapons. They've got two mobile quarterbacks, two strong power halfbacks, so it, it definitely will leave Gilman's defense guessing. This will put the Saints up 12 to nine here as they look to go for two. Coons takes the snap, rolls right, sends it in the middle and that is tipped by Nick Cruz. Ball is incomplete. As Gilman will receive the kickoff with about six minutes left. Down three. See if Gilman's offense can pull something together here. Yeah, hoping for some life. It'll be interesting to see if Gilman decides to stick to the run game here or if they are confident in quarterback Chase Brody to find someone downfield. Gilman will put Dejon Lane in Clayton Badley back to return this kick. Once again, Casey Swaglin here to take the kick for the Saints. He kicks it a little short and left. Dejon Lane able to take it, makes a juke down the left sideline. He's wrapped up at about the Gilman's 44 yard line. Great effort by Lane there to extend that play. Every yard counts on this. Chase Brody will lead his offense out onto the field here. Looking for some life offensively. Needing at least three points here to tie it up. Six minutes remaining, all three timeouts. Time is not an issue here for the offense, but points are definitely needed here late as they are down 12-9. Brody lines up in the shotgun. Nick Cruz to his right. And Sparksdale in motion, hands off fakes the hand off the cruise. Brody takes it up the gut, and he's able to bully his way down. Oh, drops it, but he recovers it. Great run there by Brody. 
20 yards there on by Brody. Interesting play call there from the Hounds. Haven't seen that all day. Gilman, once again, hurrying to the line here. Brody, Nick Cruz to his right. Uses the hard count to his advantage and catches the Saints. That'll be a false start by the Saints. That'll cost them five yards. And another penalty for the Saints. Penalties have been the story of the day here for the Saints. All around just costing them. This will be a first and five from the 36 yard line. Brody in the shotgun. Takes the snap, hands off the cruise this time. Refs blow the whistle. This will be a false start on Gilman. So we'll back them up five yards. And they're back to a first and 10. Five and a half minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Brody in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Hands off the Cruz this time. Up the middle. He's able to gain three yards there. Brody signaling for a no huddle here. Quick to the line. Calls the hard count here. Unable to catch the Saints. Sends Barksdale in motion. Takes the snap. Back to Cruz. So he's able to move, maneuver his way down to the 35 yard line. This will bring up a third and two for Gilman's offense. With a third and short here, it'll be interesting to see what and who, what play the Hounds decide to run and who they run it through. Brody takes the snap, looks right, overthrown, and that almost was picked off by Mister, right through his hands. Incomplete, and this will bring up a critical fourth and three to go here. Let's see what the Hounds draw up as they plan to go for it. And the clock is stopped, so the Hounds are not at all in a rush to get a playoff. Saints defense with a lot of chatter here. Brody in the shotgun. Marcus Walker to his left, takes the snap, looks right, throws right. Cannot find his man. That was Yasir Supreme. Hounds asking for a pass interference. Not able to get one. This will be a turnover on downs for the Hounds. And the Hounds do have three timeouts left. And with four minutes left, they are able to get the ball back with enough time to put together a solid possession. Just about four minutes to go here. Saints will look to just continue to hand it off as they have 146 rushing yards here. They need to work a little clock off, some time off the clock. As they will continue to use Bryce Koontz at quarterback. Julius Cornish to his left. Koontz slowing down the offense. Takes the snap. 
Gilman brings the pressure, hands off the Cornish. Goes up the gut for about four, two yards there. Excuse me, three yards. So we'll bring up a second and seven as the clock will tick down to about three minutes and 40 seconds here. Saints taking their time offensively. Saints out of the huddle. Set up two wide right, two wide left. Coons in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Hands off to Julius Cornish again. Gilman bringing the, the pressure. And that was number 22, Cameron Custis on the tackle, as Gilman will call timeout here, I believe. And a great effort there by the Gilman interior line again. Really nowhere to go for Cornish. That will be Gilman's eighth tackle for loss here. As the Saints will face a third and about 15 to go. Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Gilman will have two timeouts remaining. Much needed stop here for the Hounds. Saints switching it up, going back to Keyshawn Mister at quarterback for this third and 15. Takes the snap, runs left, it gets a hole, able to get to the outside and runs out of bounds, stopping the clock. Interesting play call there. Only able to work six seconds off the clock. Yeah, that's crucial for the Hounds. They now have two minutes, 50 seconds, and two timeouts. As the Saints will bring on their punting unit. As Coach Bach on the sideline is very upset with that call, they say the Saints did not step out of, bound, out of bounds there and did not stop the clock. The clock will continue to run, forcing Gilman to call their second time out of the half. Stopping clock at about 2 minutes and 42 seconds left here. The Saints will be punting. back onto the field for this play, for this fourth down and about 13. Bryce Koontz to punt. Gilman will put Dejan Lane back to return. Gilman. And the Saints will kick it out of bounds at about the 35 yard line. Excuse me, the 43 yard line of the Saints. A little confusion there by the ref. Probably a, a smart punt there by Kuntz, keeping it away from Dejan, who earlier showed us he can return the ball. Brody brings his offense back onto the field here. Two minutes and 36 seconds, one timeout. Down 12 to 9 here. Brody in the shotgun. It's the snap. Runs left. Is able to find Hayden. That will stay inbounds, moving the clock down to Gilman's 49 yard line. Gilman hurries to the line here. Brody getting the signals from the bench.
clock is approaching two minutes left here. Brody in the shotgun. Takes a snap, high snap, rolls right. Looking for a man, can't find anything. Saints putting the pressure on, able to find Ian Evans, who works his way to the 44 yard line. Still in bounds, clock will tick at a minute 50 here. A great job there by Chase Brody, getting, avoiding the sack. He's been tough to bring down for Concordia Prep's defense today. That will be a first down, so first and 10 for Gilman. Brody in the shotgun. Takes a snap, fakes the handoff. Looks right, and off the fingertips of Wes Seba. So that will stop the clock there for Gilman at a minute 34, second and 10. A little confusion on the sideline here as Brody is unable to recognize the signal signals. Brody takes the snap. It's tipped by the Saints. Gilman thinks they caught it. That is Alan Gushu. And the ref will say catch there. Wow. Saints sideline is just. And the chains crew moving along. I don't think they'll be able to catch up in time. Brody hurries to the line, gets the snap. Rolling right. Able to find his man who stays in bounds there. That is Wes Seba on the catch. Clock is ticking. And Gil Man. Gilman finding some life here in the passing game as Brody takes a snap under center. Brody looks to spike the ball, stopping the clock at a minute seven here. Gilman at their own, or er, at Saints 16 yard line here. One timeout remaining for the Hounds. line up in the shotgun here for the second down. Four left, four wide left, one to his right. Takes a snap, rolls left, gets the pressure by the Saints, throws it, dropped by Yasir Supreme, almost caught that. Great defense there by the Saints. This will stop the clock at a minute and two. Brody making a tough throw there with pressure right in his face. Gilman hurrying to the line here. Clock is stopped, however. Gilman bench arguing with the ref. call their final timeout. This will be a fourth down, not third. And it will be interesting to see here what Gilman goes with. They found some success with the pass this drive, but they also have a mobile quarterback in Chase Brody and a few powerful running backs. See what the Gilman's what Gilman's offensive coordinator can draw up here for what could be their lo last offensive play of the game. In a crucial moment, down by three, electing not to kick the field goal. And that's a little interesting because we saw that kicker Juno Yoon has that range. During halftime, he was hitting 20-yard field goals with ease. Definitely got the leg, but Gilman wants to win this game. As they take the field, Brody in the shotgun. Needing one yard here. Oh. 
Parksdale in motion. Hands off to Ian Evans, up the gut, able to get the first down, pushing his way to about the eight yard line. Clock is ticking at about 53 seconds. Gowen needs to get back to the line. Brody takes the snap, spikes it with about 49 seconds left. Gilman out of timeouts here. A great run there by Ian Evans, number 18. He's just had a phenomenal game today, doing well on both sides of the second ball. and goal. Barks down motion, hands off back to Evans, up the gut, and he's able to power his way into the end zone. The ref signals touchdown. And Gilman will take the lead 15 to 12 here with 43 seconds remaining. What an incredible drive there by Gilman's offense. Haven't seen it all game. And when they need it most, they stand up. And how about that number 18, Ian Evans, with his second touchdown of the day. The first coming off a pick six and here now scoring on the run. Gilman up three. Looks to go for an extra point with Juno Yoon. And that is blocked. Concordia Prep picked it up, but the ref signaled. The play is over. That is 60 all purpose yards for Evans after that touchdown. Maybe the Gatorade player of the game for him. What do you think, Justin? I agree, definitely. What a drive there by the Hounds. Finally able to get the passing game to work and two powerful runs to cap off the drive by Ian Evans. On a fourth down, nevertheless, able to punch it in to take the lead here. Skillman will be punting to the Saints, 43 seconds remaining. Up by three. It'll be interesting to see which quarterback Concordia Prep goes with here. They've used both equally throughout the day. You can see Bryce Kuntz on the sideline warming up his arm, but Keyshawn Min Mister and number 17, Darian Hill, will return this kickoff. Looks to kick off here. This one's a low kick. Saints bobble it. Julius Cornish picks it up. Running left. He's able to be pushed out of bounds at the 30, but a flag is down. Great effort there by Alan Gushu. Track down the ball carrier. Julius Cornish as we wait to see what the flag is. That will be a face mask. Face mask against the Saints, I believe. On the stiff arm by Julius Cornish. That will back the Saints up a few yards here. 32 seconds remaining in their own territory, down by three. 
Two timeouts remaining. What will the Saints coaching staff draw up here? They will bring in quarterback Bryce Kuntz for this last possession. We'll stick to the sophomore over the freshman here. And we'll see what they elect to do here. We know they have a mobile quarterback in Kuntz. Maybe they'll run him out to the right or left. Saints will start this possession at their own 11 yard line. Koontz is the quarterback the Saints will go with here. From the shotgun. Takes the snap. Looks right. Completed to Andre Perkins Jr. who gets the sideline, gets the edge, and he's breaks three, breaks free down the sideline to the 30 and tackled at the 20 yard line with 18 seconds remaining. The refs say he stayed in bounds here. Clock will stop because it is a first down, 18 seconds. Saints need to hurry to the line here. And with the Hounds in prevent defense, Concordia Prep able to pick up the huge gain off the screen pass. Yeah, Andre Perkins Jr. took the ball right from the line of scrimmage and just bolted to the sideline, took the edge and found a gap. Koontz lines up in the shotgun. 18 seconds remaining. Clock is stopped. Three wide left, one to his right. Takes the snap. Throws to his right, and he's got a man wide open. Touchdown. That is number 10, Marquise Edmond the second. Two plays, 89 yards for the Saints. Just incredible. 13 seconds still remaining here on the clock. Saints will go up 18-15. Just an unbelievable drive by Concordia Prep. Their best of the day. Saints will burn a timeout here as they talk this one over. Just a beautiful throw there on the last play from, from Bryce Koontz. Definitely hitting him on the run right in the chest for the wide open touchdown. Just shocking the fans here today. Saints will come out of the timeout, going for two here. Excuse me. Kicking the extra point, this will be kicker Casey Swaglin. This will put them up four if it is good. Takes the snap, it's bobbled by the placeholder who is tackled. And that will be no good there as the Saints will remain up 18-15, 13 seconds. And what? we'll have to see what Gilman decides to do here. Maybe throw a screen pass as Concordia Prep did against a deep coverage defense. They'll certainly be working the ball towards the edge of the sidelines. 
so they can step out of bounds and stop the clock. Yeah, after that two-play 89-yard drive, that puts the Saints at 241 total yards this game. And this will leave Gilman needing a miracle here with 13 seconds remaining. They will have a kickoff. So let's see if the Saints look to steer it away from Dejon Lane and Clayton Badley as the return men. Saints will look to squib it. Kicks it high, right to Dejan Lane. Goes right. Can't get to the outside, and a huge hit then from Mister as he blows Dejan up at the 29 yard line. About eight seconds remaining on the clock. Gillen will come back onto the field for about one final play here in hopes of a miracle. What will the offensive coordinator draw up here, Justin? What do you think? Um, well, we've certainly seen crazy trick plays go down in the football world in the past. I think they might just go with that screen option as Concordia did. There aren't many junior varsity quarterbacks that can throw for 70 yards. Brody will line up in the shotgun. Saints Playing a conservative defense, they got two men all the way back at the 50. Brody here chucks it long, and that will be intercepted by Julius Cornish, and that will be it here as the Saints will take this one 18 15 and a mir miraculous ending for the Saints. Crazy ending there, um, Justin. Not what we expected. Saints will win 18-15. I'm Max Ballone alongside Justin Betts, John Williams, Griffin Giese, Mr. Matthews, Mr. Sincati. Um, and that will be it from, all, from us tonight. Thank you for tuning in to GTV. See you next time.